so in this uh, configuration example, we are going to give you um, a configuration example of between Cisco ASA and the Cisco iOS router, I, so how to build a site to site tunnel. And what we are going to do is we have two, we have created one network. We already have 10.1.21. Actually, it's not 121. It's actually, uh, it's actually 21, not, yeah, it's actually 21, not 121. So we need to change that. And then there is a Cisco ASA. Cisco ASA route, Cisco ASA firewall. It has the 201.21.0 network, 240. And uh, this is the gateway of the router, 201.21.1. If you are working in VLAN 22, 23, 24, you can, your gateway will be according to that as well. The diagram is already provided. What you can do is we can actually, uh, here uh, in the, in the management, for, uh, uh, you can access the firewall by using this 10.205.1.120. The Cisco router is already pre-configured. You don't need to worry about that. You will be only configuring Cisco ASA by using the example I have given you. Okay. And we have already created a route, static route pointing to this side. That's the topology we will be using for creating the VPN. Okay, so first step is actually create the interfaces. So outside interface and inside interface. We have already created. Okay, so we don't need to worry about that. It's already created. The second step will be configure ISA camp policy phase one, which we told you that the ISA camp policy will be created before the IPsec policy. In order to verify that, show crypto ISA camp. You can see there is no ISA camp is available. Show run crypto Isaacam. So you can see there is no configuration as of now is created. So first of all, if you want to create that, crypto Ike version one, you see, and you can see this policy has a number. So let's say policy 10, question mark. Now it's asking you what authentication method you want to use. Authentication method you want to use. You want to use pre-shared key or RSA. I'm saying pre-shared key. Okay, encryption. You want to use which encryption? DES, triple DES, okay, AES, or whatever. We are using triple dash. Make sure it is as per this policy. Then hash as SHA. For hash value, we are using SHA. Okay. You can see I have created this. So by default, the group two is already created. Okay. So pre shared key, encryption is triple dash, hash is SHA, and group is two. Lifetime in the ATC, uh, this is one day. Okay. After that, we need to define a transform set. IPsec transform set and that transform set has a name. Okay, what you want to use? You want to use ES3 triple dash and ES3. So basically, there are two ways you can use. You can use here ESP. AH is not supported now. 
So this is does mean encryption and ESP is provide the authenticate uh, integrity. After that, you need to create an interesting traffic. And that inter interesting traffic will be Just replacing that. Was mean line to line tunnel extended permit IP coming from this network zero going to host D one dot one. Keep in mind, I have up to this diagram. You see, this is a slash thirty two, it's a one host IP. So this is a step number five. We need to define our tunnel group. Okay, this is the remote VPN gateway. With the help of tunnel group, what is the type? It is IPsec L2L and IPsec attributes. Region one, pre shared key, Cisco small letter, one, two, three. So, what these, so, so far, what we have done, we have created our Isaac M policy for the phase one. We have configured a transfer set. In the transfer set, we are using ESP, not AH, and we are using triple dash for the encryption and uh, SHA for the integrity. Then we're defining the interesting traffic. And we are defining the gateway. And in the gateway, we are saying use this password between the two devices because we are using the pre shared key method. And that pre shared key will be Cisco 123, which will authenticate both the endpoints. Okay, so crypto map. After that, I will be deploying a crypto map and then I will be applying to outside interface. And my outside interface will be. Out 21. Crypto map name. I just putting the name VPN MAP 21. That's the name actually. You defining crypto map uh, 22 23 24 match so match address so we defined an access list before what was the access list before defined okay so we are saying match this is the crypto map so whatever the parameter we defined earlier we are now we are matching them so this is the match then we are setting PFS group one here. Matching, first of all, we are matching in the crypto map. There is a match statement who you want to apply and what parameter will be used. Here. And set. Ike version one transform set and the transfer set defined earlier.
and then you apply this to interface and what is my interface outside interface out 21 sorry okay then apply the crypto i version 1 So do you understand the configuration? This is the first step. We are creating the ISACAM policy. We are defining a transport set. This transport set we're using ESP or EH. Then we're defining the interesting traffic. We are defining the gateway. Then we are actually whatever we have defined earlier, we are setting the parameter. We are defining that, okay, if the interesting traffic is matching with this traffic, use the PFS group, use this peer group, this peer actually, use the transform set, which we defined earlier and uh, use the and apply this to outside interface this is the crypto map then we also enable the ike version one on the outside interface so let's see what happened i'm logging into my machine dot Okay, so you can see <clears throat> let me find this.
just uh, updating the access list. Okay, you can see what happened. The here you can see the problem here. The ICMP there is a traffic is denied. You can see the tunnel is up. Okay, the IPsec is the 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 tunnel comes up on both sides. Isaac camp is up now, right? Okay, show tunnel. The tunnel is up, but the problem is that traffic need to be allowed as well in the access list because the access list is den deny the traffic. So let me see, minus two. Uh, so where we can go into the access list here. In the rules, I have applied this rule here and copy this rule and apply this rule to, but before I do that, I need to create a, Objects. So, what object groups I need to do? I need to create uh, an object network. One. And in the rules, we can go and apply this rule because there is access list. This access list is denying the traffic. That is why you can see is denying the source traffic coming from the this to this network straight away. That is why my TCP session is not bid. My OK, so I need to allow this traffic. On the access list. So right click this and say copy and paste OK, you can see this problem. The packets are encrypted, but not de-encrypted. That may be an interview question. So why the packets are encrypted, but not de-encrypted? The phase one is up. Now what is happening? QM idle is good. So you can see this is uh, de-encrypting the packet. 
Connection is built, but is not encrypting or decrypted. The traffic is matching, no doubt. So this is the traffic is matching, but it's not uh, okay. Out. Yeah, it's a very difficult to trouble to trouble to troubleshoot actually. So the tunnel uh, IPsec tunnel is up. Sorry, I, Isaac M tunnel is up. Uh, but you can see one side the packets are encrypted, and on the other side, other side the packets are decrypted but not encrypted. So you see this is decrypted. But this side is encrypted, not the de-encrypted. So let me see where the problem could be. Uh... Okay, access list is fine now. Access list should be fine. 